Okay, so next scenario or system that we're gonna worry about setting up is a ladder gin. Uh, Cordon's gonna be helping me out. Kinda wanna show you what we need for that and how we are gonna set it up. Uh, would be very good if you needed to go over a hole uh, or over a pier, you could use this. We do have a tear adapter, but understanding if you didn't have to be able to use that, this is another form of a rescue tool that you can use in order to achieve that same type of goal. So, to go over quick what we would need here, uh, we have our ladder. Uh, we're going to use one rope on this particular, uh, for anchor points, you could use two individual ropes, but we'll show you how to use one rope. Uh, we have an aft line that goes to the top. Uh, on the side of the engine, you're going to use anchor points. Cordon, if you could come show us the anchor points. So remember, we want bomb proof anchor for this. So we're going to be using an LDH, at least four inches in diameter. Uh, we could use the tire or the engine itself, the frame, but one of the things we need to worry about is pinch point. So why don't you just show us how you set up your anchor here and explain to us, Cordon, about the anchor and then what you did there. So what we did was tied our water knot, wrapped it around our suction, made sure you got your point so that way if something was to happen and it slipped, you're not going to go off since this is open-ended. You want to make sure that you have contact there and it's secure. And I tied my carabiner to my anchor. We used the press to tie into the carabiner and the press -ex went on the rope. And that's what we, we will use to tighten up for the ladder gen when we're raising. Right, and those are our guidelines, right? So go ahead and snug up on that a little bit. Just show everybody how you're snugging up on that. So basically you need to work uh, with two people at the same time to kind of do that. Because uh, basically you need to tie, tighten up both sides. So what we'll do is going back to here, he'll snug up on that a little bit. And then we'd have somebody on the other side snugging up on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera down. And we will show you kind of how it's going to be snugged up. Okay, so Cordon, why don't you go on that side, it's actually tie your loop, so Cordon, before I jump ahead. So we're using one rope on this, so what he will do is tie a figure eight and a figure eight on the middle of the rope, and that will attach to the top of the ladder, the head, on each post or beam. And then in the middle, it's gonna be slightly sagging, and that's where your system will go on and get connected. We're gonna use a four to one on this, which is right here in the background. Uh, make sure that knot's big enough. So you gotta make sure it's big enough to be able to fit on uh, the head of the ladder. So figure eights. Can loosen it up so just so what he's doing is loosening up that side there Go ahead, eight. Go ahead and connect that to the top of the ladder there, real quick. So, if we notice, he's going to connect that. We'll take a look at it as soon as he's done connecting it. So, as you can see, if you can stand off to the side, once he gets that connected, you can flip that, lift that up, cord on. Flip that knot on the other side a little bit there. There you go. So he's capturing both sides of the ladder by doing an eight. So each will each guy line will go each side. And that middle, it's a little long, but this is where you'd connect your system up. Uh, you can actually adjust that. So why don't we go ahead and also clip in that four to one cord on. So you're just gonna clip that in. So 
The key is we want to clip in our system before we start raising our ladder because once we raise it, it's a pain to try to clip it in just like the pterodopter. We want to make sure we're clipped into that before we raise it and it makes it a little bit easier to work with. All right, so we'll, we're gonna transition and tighten each side. So I'll come back and put on. Why don't you go ahead and start tightening on one side first? Yeah. So go ahead and do one side real quick. And now that is A couple quick things to look at. So if you notice we set this up, it's a little off center a little bit, but the, we're trying to achieve it and get it over that hole, right? Uh, you would cinch up, normally you have a person on each side cinch it at the same time. You have one line that goes back, that's an aft line. If you can do that, that's connected to an anchor point which is the monitor. Uh, another thing you have to be concerned about is we're going into the, the tailboard. So this is a weak part. So you, if you could brace that with some more cribbing across to, def, to deflect some of the weight would work better. If you went into the ground for the bottom of the engine, if you had points to tie off and lash the beam on the bottom somehow, it, it would work or you use pickets if it was dirt, use pickets uh, in the ground and you can lash off those pickets into the beams or the feet of the ladder and that would give it more stability. To come back and look here, one of the things you have to worry about is the sh any type of sharp edges or rubbing. Uh, you could use some type of edging, uh, soft material to help with any of that. But as you can see, this is just a Prusix. Again, you have your anchor point, you got your wraps here, you have a carabiner that's connected to a Pressix and that Pressix just snugs up and that helps tighten it. One of the things you have to worry about once you put load on that, that that ladder is going to want to shift. You really don't want to go any more than that. See how that's 45 degrees? Any more than that's 
you're you're asking for a recipe for disaster. Cordon, put a little weight on that and just show how that moves. So as you see, that starts to move a little bit, but that's secure. You got your aft line, you have your two guy lines. Uh, these guy lines also should not be any further out than 45 degrees. If they start going out further than that, then you're you're actually not supporting it, and it's likely to shift, and it's uh, it's taking away that responsibility of those guidelines so the guidelines want to go back again no more than 45 degrees out that aft line gives another redundant system of protection going straight back uh, be careful though as it's going back where it's rubbing or where it's going to run into remember you really want this over the center of the hole so typically we would want to go here when you're working the load cordon show us you want to come straight down when you're pulling so with in line with the load if the load's going straight down to that grate you really want to be pulling. If you can't pull in that same direction, what you would do is run it along the base of the ladder and do a change of direction. And you wouldn't want to tie off to the ladder, but you would want to tie off to the engine somewhere and then do a change of direction. Don't tie off to the ladder because if you tie off to the ladder, you're going to end up pulling the base of the ladder, which you don't want to pull the base of the ladder. It'd be better to tie off to the base of the engine somewhere, the frame, an anchor point, and then do a change of direction out to the side. And that way you're pulling straight to the bottom of the legs of the ladder, which then is better for the system itself. So just a basic four to one. Like I said, we clipped in the four to one. You want to put that system in place before you raise it because it's a pain to raise. Also, our length is a little long. If you notice, it's long, which isn't too bad. Uh, the higher up, the more clearance you're going to have if you're pulling off of something. You may not need that clearance, but just think about that when you're building that. Uh, the, the height that you may need. Uh, this can work up to, a, up to a 14 to 24 foot ladder. If you need it, uh, a bigger ladder. That one we just use the roof ladder. Uh, so that's pretty much the down and dirty. This is referred to as a ladder gin or also uh, a ladder derrick. I'm not sure why they also call it a derrick. One of the YouTube videos that I put up is called derrick. So uh, this gives you a ladder gin. Again, this could be used over a pier, uh, over a hole, quick down and dirty if you didn't have the tear adapter. Um, this is another formula you could be using. So training for the month of September, uh, play with it. Uh, you should be able to put weight on there. Cordon, do me a favor. Climb up a couple of those rungs. So it shows you that weight is it's good there, right? So you always want to check everything, make sure it works well, snug it up, but straight in for the month. Thanks everyone.